Hi everyone and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. Today we are going to be painting these very easy, simple, and delicate butterflies using one of my favorite flower techniques, believe it or not. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is paint on the body of the butterfly. So we're just going to use black watercolor to paint on an oval shape for the head and then a long curved sort of cucumber shape for the body. And you can either just use the, um, the shape that I painted on with that first butterfly or you can paint on a few of the bodies uh, in different shapes like I did for that second one. Completely up to you. Once the bodies of the butterflies have completely dried, this is where you want to begin the actual painting of the uh, wings. So you're going to take a lot of pigment, whatever your chosen pigment is. Here I'm using, um, I believe, sort of a reddish color. Uh, so we're taking a lot of pigment, very little water, and just dabbing on that pigment onto the top portion of uh, our body, the uh, butterfly body, and then we are taking a round brush that has been dipped into water and just dragging out that pigment so that it naturally bleeds into the rest of the wing, and then we're replicating that exact same thing for the second wing, or rather the, the bottom portion of the wing. If you've watched some of my easy flower tutorials or Mother's Day card tutorials, I use this technique to paint flowers a lot and I was thinking that it would be a really easy technique um, to incorporate into painting butterflies. So for my second butterfly, I kind of sketched it out with a pencil first because the body was angled in a different position, so I wanted to make sure that my uh, the design of my wings made sense uh, according to how the, the body looked. And then I took sort of a magenta color and I dabbed it onto the top half uh, for that first wing and I, again I dragged it out with my round brush dipped into water and then I did the same thing for the bottom half of the wing. Now if you find that some of the pigment is pooling towards the end of your wing you can definitely just lift some of that off with a clean almost dry brush because you can see that um, with my bottom wing here I had a lot of pigment that sort of dragged into the end of the wing and that's not what we want so you can definitely lift off that pigment. So I sped up the rest of the video here just because we're doing the exact same thing as the first two butterflies, but I'm just using different colors. Um, so you can paint on as many as you want. You can even paint on uh, the second half of the wing on the other side of the butterfly so that you're kind of looking at it from a bird's eye view. That's, that's also an option for you. And I also went ahead and painted on two more uh, small butterflies. Once your butterfly wings have completely dried, you can add on some other details. These are completely optional, but I think they add some cuteness to the butterflies. So you can paint on their antennae and you can also paint on their legs. I don't know how many legs butterflies have, I'd have to Google it. Um, so this is obviously not an anatomically correct rendition of a butterfly, but I just went with uh, two pairs of legs. And we're all finished! Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you in next week's tutorial.